Uruguay. A captivating nation nestled in South America, Uruguay's 3.4 million inhabitants revel in the highest per capita income in all of Latin America, averaging around $16,000. This incredible feat becomes even more astounding when we dive into the country's challenging past. Rising above the trials of political and economic turmoil, Uruguay now stands tall as a symbol of stability, proudly claiming the top spot in a democracy index for Latin America. To grasp Uruguay's remarkable success amidst the numerous crises faced by South American nations, we must rewind to 1828. The Treaty of Montevideo marked a crucial milestone, officially concluding the Cisplatin War and granting Uruguay independence from the Brazilian Empire. However, in the years that followed, the country grappled with a series of political and housing crises as well as severe economic setbacks that hindered its progress. Notably, the Civil War of Uruguay unfolded between 1839 and 1851, when the Blanco and Colorado parties vied for control of the nation. This conflict drew support from influential powers like Argentina and Brazil, yet it was the Colorados who eventually assumed power in 1865. Despite this, political disputes between the two parties persisted for more than four decades. At the beginning of the 20th century, Uruguay's economy primarily focused on exporting primary products like meat and wool. As a result, the nation faced significant repercussions during the economic crisis of 29, when major global economies experienced a severe downturn. This factor led to a staggering 40% decline in Uruguay's export earnings from 1930 to 1932. To overcome this crisis and reduce the country's resilience on foreign markets, the Uruguayan government implemented import substitution policies. In simple terms, they imposed tariffs to limit imports and stimulate local industries. Initially, these measures successfully reduced unemployment and fostered the growth of the country's manufacturing sector, which expanded by 8.5% annually between 1945 and 1954. The emergence of a middle class, comprising approximately 40% of the population, further highlighted the positive impact of these policies. However, due to Uruguay's limited domestic market and the fact that 89% of its manufactured goods were consumed domestically, this, coupled with political and social instability, led the nation to endure a military resume from 1973 to 1985. Uruguay had the highest per capita number of political prisoners worldwide at this time. Seeking assistance from the United States, Uruguay borrowed money from international creditors and aimed to globalize its economy. Unfortunately, this move led to the bankruptcy of numerous Uruguayan businesses that couldn't compete with the international market. The country became heavily indebted, resulting in cost-cutting measures, privatizations, and a devastating 20% GDP contraction within two years. Unemployment in Uruguay skyrocketed to a shocking 17% annually during the early 1980s. However, Uruguay faced a series of external shocks, including the historic 2002 crisis in Argentina and the end of convertibility. These events caused a significant reduction in foreign financing and a drastic decrease in Uruguay's international reserves. As a result, the country's public debt surged, and its economy contracted by over 13% between 1999 and 2002. Unemployment peaked at 16% between 2002 and 2003, causing a devastating run on Uruguayan banks, which brought the nation's banking system to a complete standstill. In the face of uncertainty about the safety of banks and a wave of bank deposit withdrawals in Uruguay, the government took decisive action starting in 2003. They implemented fiscal austerity measures, set inflation targets, stabilized the exchange rate, and worked on restructuring public debt. Alongside the economic growth of neighboring Brazil and Argentina, these policies greatly benefited Uruguay. The country managed to reduce its public debt by 50% and address vulnerabilities in its financial sector. This remarkable turnaround led to an impressive average annual growth rate of 5.4% from 2004 to 2014. Today, Uruguay stands as a shining example of political and economic stability, attracting foreign investors who have increased their investments in the country by a staggering 151% in 2021. Uruguay's strategic location plays a crucial role in it being so appealing to businesses. 
Situated as the main gateway for goods entering the continent, it benefits from its proximity to the La Plata River formed by the Uruguayan River and the Paraná River on the border of Argentina and Uruguay. This grants Uruguay effortless access to the vast La Plata River Basin, the largest demographic basin in South America spanning over 4 million square kilometers. Due to this, Uruguay enjoys smooth connectivity to the continent's major waterways, facilitating swift access to a market over 300 million people. Additionally, Uruguay boasts a robust port infrastructure with eight ports lining its coast. Montevideo, the country's largest port, alone witnesses the passage of around 5,000 ships and handles up to 600,000 containers annually. To leverage this constant flow of goods passing through its ports, the government seeks to expand production areas near the coast, focusing particularly on free trade zones. Uruguay is home to 11 free trade and production sites across its territory. These zones operate under a free zone regime, offering a plethora of tax and customs benefits, including complete freedom in the movement of goods and exemptions from taxes and rates. With its advantageous location, thriving ports and strategic free trade areas, Uruguay has created an environment that attracts businesses and stimulates economic growth. Uruguay, with its free trade zones, has emerged as the industrial hub of Latin America. Over the past decade, these free trade areas have attracted a staggering $5.7 billion in foreign investment. Coupled with attractive tax incentives, Uruguay has transformed into a commercial paradise for companies seeking a foothold in Latin America. Renowned giants like Itaú and Roche have recognized Uruguay's potential and made it their preferred base for operations and exporting goods and services. Another noteworthy aspect is the country's growing allure as a destination for immigrants. In recent years, Uruguay has witnessed a substantial influx of people, with foreign-born residents now accounting for over 3% of the national population. The reasons behind this migration trend are manifold. Uruguay's stability amid the economic and political turbulence experienced by its neighboring South American nations plays a significant role. Uruguay's membership in Mercosa has strengthened its appeal to South American countries. Trade between the countries in the bloc has experienced a significant tenfold increase since the 1990s. Uruguay in particular enjoys the advantages of transparency and a favorable business environment thanks to its high level of economic freedom. It ranks second in economic freedom among South American nations, trailing only behind Chile. This achievement has positioned Uruguay as a top choice for investors and businesses seeking opportunities on the continent. The visa exemption among Mercosur member countries further facilitates the movement of people, promoting integration and fostering a continent flow of migration within the bloc. Consequently, the economic crisis in Argentina and Brazil, the main economies of South America, has prompted many Argentines and Brazilians to search for new prospects in neighboring countries. Uruguay, with its rapid growth and enticing prospects, has emerged as a preferred destination. With its welcoming environment and promising prospects, Uruguay beckons those seeking a fresh start in South America. After the 2020 pandemic, the nation's economy experienced a remarkable growth of 4.4%, surpassing the expected 3% growth in 2021. This outstanding achievement caught the attention of numerous immigrants and tourists, particularly Brazilians. Interestingly, the Brazilian population residing in Uruguay now accounts for over 16% of the country's foreign residents. Such a significant influx of individuals has transformed Uruguay from a small colony in the 19th century into South America's most prominent logistics hub. Its strategic positioning grants Uruguay exclusive access to a market of over 300 million people. Consequently, Uruguay has become a premier destination for investments, trade, and business ventures among its Latin American counterparts. If the nation can sustain its current status while implementing new policies to promote economic freedom, Uruguay has the potential to emerge as an oasis amidst the crises plaguing Latin America. Notably, Uruguay is also among the countries considered for membership in the influential BRICS alliance, which currently comprises Russia and China giving the country even more economic and trade-related advantages. What are your thoughts on this rapidly growing nation? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated with all our upcoming content. See you soon!